Hello everyone. Let us find out what is the Lissajous pattern in the CRO that is the cathode ray oscilloscope. So cathode ray oscilloscope basically it is used to measure and analyze the different types of waveforms that is your sine wave, triangular wave, square wave or any waves. So in that CRO that is your cathode ray oscilloscope one term is there that is nothing but your Lissajous pattern. So what do you mean by this Lissajous pattern? In CRO we know that there will be the cathode ray tube and in that cathode ray tube there will be the two plates. One is your horizontal plate and one is your vertical plate. So on horizontal plate the waveform which we are giving that is nothing but your sawtooth waveform and on the vertical plate the waveform that we are giving that is nothing but the waveform which we are going to analyze it whether it is sine wave, triangular wave or the square wave any waves can be given on the vertical plate and the output will be displayed on the screen but what is happening in the Lissajous pattern in Lissajous pattern what we are doing on both the plates that is on horizontal and on the vertical plates we are giving the sinusoidal waveform and due to that two waveforms which is which we are giving on the horizontal and the vertical plate whatever be the pattern which is developing on the CRT that is your cathode ray tube screen that is nothing but the Lissajous pattern. So here the pattern which will be obtained from the waveforms that is given on the horizontal and the vertical plates that is nothing but your sinusoidal waveforms. So on both the plates we are giving the sinusoidal waveforms and the result of both that waveforms will develop the pattern that is nothing but your Lissajous pattern. This Lissajous pattern is basically used to find out the phase difference and the frequency of the signals. So with the help of this Lissajous pattern we can find out the phase difference of the signal and the frequency of the signals. So let us see one by one how we will calculate the phase difference and after that how we will calculate the frequency. So for calculating the phase difference here as I already told you on both the plates we are giving the sinusoidal waveform. So here you can see this is your X plate and this is your Y plate. So on both the plates we are giving the sinusoidal waveform. This is your sinusoidal waveform and this is nothing but your screen. So for finding out the phase difference some steps we have to follow it. So what are the steps here? On this sinusoidal waveforms that we are giving on the X plate and on the Y plate that is nothing but on your horizontal plate and on your vertical plate divide that waveform into equal parts. So here you can see this waveform is divided into four equal parts that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here also you can see 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now what we will do? We will extend all the similar points on the screen here. So first of all this is your 0 point. Extend this 0 on the screen. So this 0 will be extended here. So similarly this 0 will be extended here. So this will come at this point. This is nothing but your 0 point. So this is second point also and the fourth point also that will be obtained on the same point. Now plot this 1. Now extend this 1 on the screen of the CRT. So this will be here 1. And third point when we will extend this 3 third point that will be come here. Now join all the points 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 points. You will see some pattern. So this is nothing but your Lissajous pattern. Here you can see in this two waveforms there will be no phase difference that means phi is equals to 0. So the phase difference is 0 so in that case the Lissajous pattern that is developing on the screen will be like this. So this is nothing but your Lissajous pattern when the phase difference is 0. Now there will be the different phase, phase difference between the two signals will be there. How we will find out the phase difference? So if suppose the pattern will obtain on the screen will be like this. If this is the pattern which is developed on the screen that means your phase difference that is nothing but your phi will lie between 0 to 90 or from 270 to 360 degrees. So here let us find out 
the phase difference here for that on this lissajous pattern mark some points on the x axis mark two points that is your x1 and x2 point and on the y axis again plot two points that is your y1 and y2 points this x1 will be on the x axis and this y1 will be on your y axis point where the lissajous pattern will touch on the axis and this x2 and y2 will be the two different points now for finding the phase difference in this case it is given by the formula phi is equals to sin inverse x1 by x2 or phi is equals to sin inverse y1 by y2 so when this pattern will appear on the screen in that case the phase difference that is your phi will lie between 0 to 90 or from 270 to 360 degrees and that can be found out by the formula phi is equals to sin inverse x1 by x2 or phi is equals to sin inverse y1 by y2 now if suppose the lissajous pattern which is developing on the screen will be like this when this pattern will appear on the screen in that case the phase difference that is phi will lie between 90 to 180 or from 180 to 270 degrees in that case also on this lissajous pattern mark the some points that is your x1 x2 y1 and y2 so the formula for the phase difference in this case will be 180 minus sin inverse x1 by x2 or you can say 180 minus sin inverse y1 by y2 with the help of these formulas we can find out the phase difference so depending on the lissajous pattern which is developing on the screen we can apply the formula for the finding the phase difference so in this way we can find out the phase difference of the two signals now let us see how we will measure the frequency here for that the frequency ratio is given by the formula that is fy by fx is equals to number of times tangent touches top or bottom divided by number of times tangent touches either side where this fx and fy is nothing but the frequency of the signal on the x plate and on the y plate respectively now what we have to find out we have to find out how many times the tangents will touch so for that consider the example here if suppose this is your lissajous pattern will be developing on the screen in that case we have to draw the tangent here where we have to draw the tangent at the top or the bottom or on the either side so top or bottom here at the top we are drawing one tangent and on the either side we are drawing the another tangent here now count how many times this tangent will touch so first of all at top here you can see this is your 1 2 and 3 so at the top three times the tangent will touch and on the either side you can see it is 1 so the formula for fy by fx becomes 3 by 1 if suppose this is your pattern this is your that is your lissajous pattern again draw the tangents here you can see on this top tangent this is your first this is your second but this is the half lissajous pattern that means half tangent will be there so therefore we will count as 2 plus half tangent so here on the top the tangents at how many times the tangents will touch at the top that is nothing but 2 and a half times and on the either side it becomes 1 so the formula becomes fy by fx is equals to 2 plus 1 by 2 this half it is for this half tangency because the half lissajous pattern will be there divided by the 1 so it becomes 5 by 2 so depending on the tangents how many times the tangents will touch this formula will be changing if it is for half we will consider it for only half full will be there so we can count as the full tangent clear now from these two frequencies that is your fx and fy if any one frequency is known we can find out the frequency of the another signal so here if suppose fy is known so we can find out the fx and if fx is known we can find out the frequency for the y plate signal so here we can find out the frequency for so from this lissajous pattern basically why this lissajous pattern will appear because we are giving the sinusoidal wave form on both the plates so depending on that some pattern will appear on your screen that is nothing but your lissajous pattern and with the help of this lissajous pattern we can find out the phase difference of the signals 
as well as we can find out the frequency of the signals by applying these formulas.